So that stopping for a while, uh, causing some problems out in the western Trumbull and Mahoning counties. Uh, stopping means that heavier rainfall fell across parts of the area. Uh, now the rain is starting to weaken in many locations, and that's good news uh, because we didn't need additional rainfall today. We were on a four day streak of dry weather in some spots. That is now over, and I know you're wondering how about the future? It's not looking good. This stormy pattern is going to continue for weeks here across the region. So I know a lot of farmers getting their hay in over the past several days and not looking too good for dry streaks again. And I'll show you that in the seven day forecast. 74 degrees right now, high temperature 82. But look at the rain cooled air in spots across the region uh, this afternoon and evening as we take a look at neighborhoods uh, close to your home. The temperatures dropping into the 60s in some spots in Cortland at 69, a 70 in Berlin Center. This is all rain cooled air. And notice how the green is just right with us because to the west it stayed dry and off to the southeast it stayed dry. But as you know, it has not here at home. Lots of lightning a little earlier, just a few strikes showing up now in central and southeastern Mahoning County and just some light showers left over now across portions of Trumbull County. It's dry over in Mercer County, uh, keeping an eye on these showers. Uh, they are really starting to fall apart. Uh, whether or not they'll make it across the state line is in question because uh, the storm system is starting to weaken. Showers across Mahoning County now uh, from Youngstown on down to Canfield. Uh, thunderstorm here in Beaver Township right around the North Lima area. 680 and I-76 interchange here uh, heading over toward New Middletown and New Springfield. You will be close to getting this thunder shower as it moves off to the east and then just some light showers now across Columbiana County. This is with a storm system that is pivoting through here and lifting off to the northeast tonight. Uh, these showers will end here as we go through the next several hours here at home, but out to the northwest, the next storm system uh, moving in out of the northern plains and it's producing showers and storms across Wisconsin. Wisconsin and Illinois. As this moves through, could see some gustier wind with a stronger thunderstorm into especially tomorrow afternoon and evening. That's what our next best chance is for rainfall. This evening, though, still the risk of a shower or a thunderstorm. This will taper off for us as we go through the rest of the evening. We'll get quiet weather around into the morning, and then as the day goes on tomorrow, warm and humid right into the middle 80s. But by afternoon and evening, that risk of thunderstorms developing across the area. Five, six o'clock as you join me tomorrow night. I'll be tracking showers and storms, some of which could be on the strong side into tomorrow evening as this cold front pushes on through and the risk of showers and storms. Unfortunately, will stay in my forecast as we wrap up the week. 65 tonight, scattered showers, storms watching those move across the state line now, and they will weaken over the next several hours. Tomorrow, 83 year temperature, another warm and humid day. Showers and storms developing mainly through the afternoon into tomorrow evening. The entire region is under a marginal risk for severe weather as we go through, especially late tomorrow toward uh, tomorrow, early tomorrow night, and then that storm system clears and a cooler temperatures move in Wednesday and Thursday. Just a small chance for a shower or storm both days. I'm leaving an isolated shower or storm in the forecast Friday and Saturday. We'll be back in the mid 80s and then the next storm system comes in Sunday and Monday of next week. And this is what I was talking about. It is just an unsettled weather pattern and it's going to continue. At least the cooler temperatures kind of give you a little bit of relief from the humidity hanging yes, around, uh, huh? At least for a little bit. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Paul.